how many separate treatments with PRRT are usual and how do you assess a patient's need for more treatments? God, you ask difficult questions. Um, right, just so that you're all familiar with this, PRRT means the radioactive treatment using radioactive peptides. So it's peptide, radioactive peptide therapy. Um, there is no evidence to, su to support how many individual treatments are given to an individual patient. Um, generally speaking, there is a consensus of opinion internationally that you give between two and four cycles of yttrium targeted therapy and probably four cycles of lutetium targeted therapy. And then it would make sense to stop because we know that the tumour will respond relatively slowly and you don't want to just keep plugging on with one cycle after another after another without being quite sure what it is you're trying to achieve. So it makes sense then to stop and observe and put patients onto a very careful um, follow-up regimen where you're going to scan them, do the hormones, all the things we've just discussed. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to reconsider treatment within a year of completing one, one complete course of treatment because if a patient is running into trouble within a year, it suggests that it's not the best treatment for them. It obviously isn't controlling things as well as we would like and it might be time to change course. And I'm very conscious of the fact that any of these treatments have got cumulative side effects and if you just keep plowing on, you end up um, potentially doing more harm than good. So there is no limit, theoretically, to the number of treatments that patients can have. But we tend to give several cycles of treatment together and then wait for a bit and then think about restarting again. How long that interval is is as long as a piece of string, to be honest, but certainly not within a year. <laughs>